Welcome to meditation. I'm Rebecca. And those of you who have been with me during the week know that we've been talking a lot about trees. And this behind me is, it's actually a background, but it's a photo that I took of the beautiful trees that were outside my window and have since been recently cut down. So I am a tree hugger. I love trees. Trees are majesty and awe to me. I love to take walks and look at all the trees and I take pictures of them and I look up to the sky and I look down at the roots and I just, I love trees. Trees feed us fruit trees. They give us oxygen. They create homes for many animals and birds. And overhead, they create a beautiful canopy and give us shade. And in yoga, we have a pose, uh, an asana called rikshasana, tree pose. And tree pose allows us to be really present and to work on our sense of balance. One of my uh, students, um, <coughs> pardon me, who's not here today, always loved when I talked about with uh, tree pose that it gives us both this sense of grounding and stability and also this sense of lift and buoyancy. And, uh, and that is just another thing that trees give to us. It's that sense of awe and majesty. And so I want to just talk a little bit about trees and then we'll do a meditation. Rabbi Jill Hammer says that all trees converse with one another and with all beings. She says if the trees are speaking, we should start listening. Poet Mary Oliver wrote, When I am among trees. When I am among the trees, especially the willows and the honey locust, equally the beech, the oaks, and the pines, they give off such hints of gladness, I, almost, I would almost say that they save me and daily. I am so distant from the hope of myself in which I have goodness and discernment and never hurry through the world, but walk slowly and bow often. Around me, the trees stir in their leaves and call out, stay a while. The light flows from their branches. And they call again, it's simple, they say. And you too have come into the world to do this, to go easy, to be filled with light and to shine. Take a moment to find your meditative seat whatever that looks like for you, sitting up tall in a chair, well-supported, sitting on the floor on a cushion, lying on your back. Become aware of the sensations you feel around you, your sensory environment. What do you see if your eyes are still open? What are the colors and the patterns that are present in your space? The textures. And then if it's comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes or take a soft, unfocused gaze. Beginning to turn your attention a little more deeply inward, noticing what you can hear beyond the sound of my voice. Can you discern which sounds are close by and which are further away? Noticing the constant steady sounds like the whir of the air conditioner or the fan. 
and intermittent sounds, birds, traffic noise. Notice what you feel under your fingertips. Is it cold or warm? Smooth or bumpy? What do you feel beneath your feet, your seat? Begin to notice your breath. Where do you feel it? Is there one place that is more obvious than the others? Take a moment to fix your attention on that spot. Maybe it's at the tip of your nose or your upper lip, maybe in your chest or belly. And keep your attention there through several rounds of inhales and exhales. Notice if the sensation changes or if it stays the same. And then begin to follow your breath, noticing where it goes on your inhale. Pause for just a moment at the fullness of the inhale and then exhale completely noticing the breath as it flows out of your body pause for just a moment at the end of your exhale in the emptiness and then inhale again and again allowing the breath to be smooth and steady With your next inhale, lengthen your spine, whether you're lying down or sitting up. Reach the crown away from your tailbone. If you're seated, it's like you're reaching the crown of your tree towards the sky. As you exhale, keep that sense of spaciousness, of length as you release and drop into the support of the earth beneath you. Lengthening with each inhale. Grounding with each exhale. Breathing between earth and sky. Can you get that sense of groundedness and also buoyancy. Allowing gravity to hug you and hold you to the earth, keeping you from spinning off. And then the bravery, the courage to press away from the earth against gravity and lengthen, growing tall. Imagine the breath moving through your body like rings around 
the tree. As you inhale, you go up and up and up through the rings. As you exhale, you drop down and down and down through the rings. The rings support you and hold you. So the breath can flow with ease. On your next exhale, imagine you're sending roots deep into the earth from every place that's connected to the earth. Maybe just your feet or your bottom or maybe your whole spine, your arms and head. Sending roots deep and deeper and deeper still. And imagine the roots grow so deep, they begin to spread out. Trees in a grove interconnect, nourishing each other, communicating. Can you feel the connection with your community, your loved ones, your fellow students. On your next inhale, grow tall <coughs> or lengthen, reaching, reaching, expanding. making space. Roots drop deep. Crown reaches. And now begin to let go. Sinking a little more with each exhale. Like the rings of the trees, begin to count down, starting with 10. Each exhale is another number. We'll come into some quiet.
Begin to deepen your breath, bringing small movements into fingers and toes. If you're lying down, roll to one side and pause. Taking your time to bring yourself up to sitting, allowing your attention to stay deeply inward for another moment or two. We'll seal, <coughs> excuse me, we'll seal our practice with one chant of Om for the community we create when we practice together, bringing palms together at heart center. We'll inhale. Oh, oh, Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Jai Bhagwan. May the light in all of us be victorious. Thank you for sharing your practice with me and with each other.